Lawmakers are now getting involved in the fallout from possible fraud involving breathalyzer machines across the state. The director of the state police testified before the state's Judiciary and Public Safety Committee today, promising to fix the situation and work with the Attorney General's office to hold the company and its employees responsible. News 8's Heather Walker joins us with the latest in this rapidly evolving story. Emily, so far, 52 drunk driving cases are impacted by this potential fraud, but that number could rise because MSP is still investigating. Do you suspect that this was done out of just laziness by the vendors that didn't care to go out and, and recalibrate it so they falsified the records to indicate that they had when they truly hadn't? We, that, that is what we suspect. And it wasn't an, an intent to fraudulently rig the device. It was just more or less carelessness or laziness on their part to suggest that they had done something that they truly had not done. Yes, sir. Two lazy technicians appear to be the root cause of this chaos. The director of Michigan State Police, Colonel Joe Gasper, testified that he believes instead of properly calibrating the breathalyzers, the techs literally cut and paste certification tickets together. At this time, we have no reason to believe that these issues predate the employment of these two technicians. The techs were hired in November and December of 2018 by the company who makes the data masters, Intoximeters. MSP says eight different data masters and 52 DUI cases across the state were impacted by their actions. And as of today, 34 possible criminal acts were committed by the techs. We are very confident a properly calibrated and maintained data master is an extremely reliable instrument. Michigan State Police have already restored 37 of the state's 203 data master DMT breathalyzers. The hope is to have all of them back up and running by the end of February. MSP plans to hire three technicians of their own to take over responsibilities of calibrations and add an external scientist to validate the work. And I am completely committed to partnering with all of our stakeholders to rectify the situation as quickly as possible and to work to restore the public's faith. The people will receive the due process that they deserve from our criminal justice system. MSP is working with the Attorney General's Office on potential charges. We'll keep you posted. In studio, Heather Walker, News 8.